Hi, uh, I will explain today what is a write ahead log. It is used mostly in our databases like MySQL or PostGRE SQL or SQL Server. And we will see what it is, what is the main concept. Uh, each database uh, explains it or use it in different way with different instructions. But I will just explain its basics why it is used, how it is used and why it is required. So let us start with what is the problem and uh, how to use write ahead log. Okay, so consider a scenario where we have a disk, we have a database engine and we have multiple users which are sending requests of say update or select or delete to this database engine and uh, you, the requests are coming like some 10,000 in, in a minute or something like that. So what this database engine is doing is it goes to disk, it goes to the particular file where the data is stored and it changes that data. So the problem is this is very tedious procedure. Why? Because it takes time, it takes more IO resources and very inefficient to write few kilobytes of data or to change a single row on a disk. Means it is, it is really inefficient to search for data, to get a file, to make some changes and again preserve it. And doing this 10,000 times a minute or 10,000 times a second, this is a really inefficient thing. So to get around the problem of this inefficiency, what database engine is doing is data files are loaded in memory. So we use uh, CPU, then changes are done in memory. So we get a row, we fetch a row from disk, we keep that row in a memory and we do changes to a memory. And okay, so this memory is not flushed or not updated to a disk for certain amount of time, like say one minute or 30 seconds. And this time is configurable. You can decide how much, how long the memory will be there without flushing. And it is in, it is efficient use of time, IO resources and disk resources because the traffic from database engine to disk and disk to database engine is reduced to a very low extent. So we are using this CPU in between this database and a disk and all changes are doing in a CPU. So we've taken care of inefficiency and now we are using CPU as a like buffer. But with this use of buffer, we have another problem. The thing is that changes to the data in memory are volatile. Means it is ephemeral. It is not a permanent thing because it is a memory based. And if there is a loss of memory or loss of machine due to some like power outage or some uh, IO disturbance, then our data changes are lost. So what to do with this problem? And our write ahead log is the solution of this problem. So we will see in our example, this CPU is gone. That CPU has fetched some rows from this disk that rows are doing some changes in CPU and now the CPU is, CPU is lost. So how to manage this situation? So we use write ahead log to manage this situation. It is used in all databases, used to preserve the data in case of failure of a machine and it acts as a backup for data persistence. It is append only file or a journal which file resides on a disk and it is permanent. It is not ephemeral or it is not volatile. And it is very efficient to write a file. It is a just a text file. So we will see how it works. So now we have a, this file. This file is actually in the disk. It resides on a disk. And when the user make a request with some delete command or some update command, that command is first written to this log or journal. That's why it is called a write ahead. Ahead of what? Ahead of the changes to this database on a CPU uh, holding. 
So first we make uh, write this query to this text file which is append only. We cannot update or we cannot delete or we cannot change anything. We can just write at end of that file. And after that procedure, we make changes to this CPU. And then after some time, which is called as a checkpoint, we flush this CPU. If everything goes fine and CPU is working, the machine is working, then this wall file has no function. It can be deleted, it can be overwritten, it can be flushed, everything. Means this has no function, it is just a text file sitting on the disk. But in case of CPU failure, we have this backup or our queries. So when CPU is lost after doing some changes and which are volatile, this file, which is text file, is used in disk to make changes in a database and that changes are persisted on a disk. So this wall file is very important for persistence of our queries in case of this CPU is failed while it is changing the database. And thank you and I hope you got something about what is right ahead log and how database uses it. Mm -hmm.